What is up guys, Bad Space Wolf here, and welcome to uh, another dry brushing tutorials, uh, episode 3, uh, this one is on scenery, unfortunately I kind of lost my, uh, just my uh, image that I was going to, uh, man I cannot speak, my goodness, uh, to show you guys what the finished product would be, uh, I got two products today, uh, one that's got just like rocks and skulls, and one that's just got dirt and also a shield. Uh, I'm going to go over it just two different ways, like uh, how to do rocks and skulls and dirt and a shield. Now, I could have done them in two videos, but I figured what the hell, I'll do it in this one. And before, before I continue, I'm going to show you what paints I'm going to be using. Uh, apple barrels, toffee brown. Sandstone, uh, apple barrel sandstone, uh, and apple barrels pewter gray, and oop, almost forgot, uh, apple barrel barn red, and citadel layer Eric armor gold. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we're gonna first get started with. Just do, uh, adding the dirt base, so we're going to be using toffee brown to kind of give that dried mud look. Now, as I have said in my... Oh, crap. Sorry, guys, I was going to set that down, and it kind of got away from me. <laughs> All right, now, as I said in the other videos, uh, there is a couple, as I call cardinal rules, with dry brushing. And that is always, and I repeat, always, uh, never dip your brush, dip these brushes in water, because that will ruin the br the bristles. Okay. And, oh my goodness, I accidentally took off way too much. Oops. But, uh, another thing is this. Um, I'm trying to think here. Uh, well, mostly it's just that one. Don't. I know there's probably a couple more. I've probably missed them. I'm not really thinking right now. I'm mostly thinking about the product uh, project right now. Sorry, guys. I know it's unprepared of myself, but it's. It's late at night, and I'm not thinking about, I'm just not thinking right now, but, uh, mo oh, now I remember. Also, make sure you always take out the paint out of this, okay? Always. That's why, if you always see, if you ever see me when we're on, uh, uh, when I'm on camera, checking my bristles, that is why. You always want to make sure, because you don't want them to be very stiff and uh, you just don't want that because it will ruin it and also you won't be able to get a lot of good product out okay so this is what I've got for this one now we're gonna work on the other one okay now I'm sorry guys if I'm all scatterbrained right now I'm like I said I'm not thinking right now I'm just trying to get trying to make sure I don't miss anything right here with this okay now when it comes to this uh, uh, the reason why I pick brown is just because uh, just because of how they look they look r like a muddy gr scenery I'll try getting my hands on some I'm probably gonna probably be making this a couple parter because I'll probably find some more scenery bases that I've got lying around just to kind of give you an idea now this rocks actually gonna have another layer later of brown but that's gonna be after I put on the uh, uh, put on the stone cover okay now also for people who are just now tuning in for this dry brushing and they've never done any dry brushing uh, welcome of course uh, now you see me handling this and also better example I'm handling this one. 
it's pretty much dry instant dry when you put this on so you don't have to worry okay oh my goodness someone's thinking about me okay hold on I gotta double check to make sure I got all this out here that way you guys can see I'll do this on camera once for you guys uh, who have never done this before that way they can see what it is okay but now we're gonna kinda start working on the shield for this guy right here so we're going to be applying uh, barn red. It's going to be a corn shield. Uh, not corn, corn. Serum of corn shield. So, yeah. Okay, now, uh, with doing the shield, it's just like you want to try uh, just watch what I do just be uh just kind of be careful with your strokes I know I'm just not looking now I missed the spot right there with the mud but that's okay I'll go back over it again just apply it ever so slightly but make sure you watch where you're going now I apologize if I'm not gonna be talking so much I'm just trying to focus a little bit where I'm at and so I apologize guys so even uh, now since this is gonna be a current shield uh, the uh, uh, chaos iconography that's on this it's gonna be painted gold no worries it's you can just paint back over it so it don't matter this mostly you want to try focusing on just trying to get mostly oops sorry and I think I'm starting to starting to I gotta reapply some and I'll pull this back for you guys that way you can see what I mean uh, you can use uh, just remember another thing uh, you can use paper like different colored papers or me I personally use my hand because you can actually see the how like from how dark to how light it gets okay so you just and the paints I use it's just water based so it don't matter and now trying to resume this back in Ooh, that's even better and also if it's on it comes on the if it comes on the mud you can repaint over that again or it also uh, with how bright this is it kind of looks like blood so if you want to have like blood on it it's uh, entirely up to you I mean I'm probably gonna stick with that just because it kind of gives the soil more more character it kind of makes it look like it's bl uh, there's blood around that and it looks kind of cool but that's just me but I'm sorry if uh, you're not able to see you guys. I'm trying to see myself too. I'm trying to make sure I got all this covered. Um, okay, there we go. I think we got it. Yeah, I think it's good enough right now. So, now we're going to do this again. We're going to whip back out toffee, uh, the toffee brown. That way we can go over the spots I just missed. That I thought I got, but I didn't. So like that spot. Probably a little bit touch up. Do a little couple touch ups here and there. Just touch her up. Make Probably make the brown pop a little bit more. This one don't need it. So it's just this one. Huh. Wow. I am derped. I just heavily derped and I apologize, guys. I'm going to switch brushes. Because this one's... uh. Oh, never mind, I got it. Sorry, guys. I've got two brushes on standby. I don't actually, sure, I'll switch. Uh, I've got two brushes on standby. Uh, actually, two brushes. One uh, to swap out and one alternate. Uh, actually, one I'm using and one alternate. Ah, there we go. Just in case if uh, it's starting to show the color. 
that I don't want, like if uh, the colors mix, that's uh, me not clearing out the brush so well, so that's a my bad moment. So, when it comes to dry brushing, I mean dry brushing this, it's not, it's just like anything else, of course, uh, you're probably, if you've been watching the series, and since uh, the first video, it's pretty straightforward, guys, but it's pretty cool, How, I mean, the effects it gives afterwards, I mean, don't that look like dirt, dirt to you guys, or is it just me? I like that. Okay, now... Now, what we're going to do next is this. We're going to start up. Uh, I'm going to switch back to my brushes. Uh, switch back to my other brush. Because I'm going to test it. I want to make sure bristles are okay. Yep, they're good. Now, we're going to add pewter gray for the stone. And also, to let you guys know which uh, scenery this is from, I forgot to mention in the beginning, my bad. Uh, this is uh, Warhammer Fantasy scenery basing, okay? Now this, uh, now, this can apply to anything. I'm just only using this since I don't have any other big scenery pieces. I do, but it's already been painted, so it... Whatever, I'm not thinking... Now you're probably wondering, oh no, why is it starting to look kind of, well, it, you can see a little bit of red. That's what ha I wanted to show, that's what happens when you don't uh, clean out the your brushes too well. I mean, it's I mean, you can, I just let them sit for a little bit in between, or uh, make sure you have alternates. But I'm actually going for this uh, because I kind of want to give it that kind of cross between like a uh, stained blood and sandstone so that's actually the effect I want to go for but make sure that you're uh, being smart with that I mean if you can still see like the wet paint on it like it, for the technique I'm using do uh, make sure you're dry brushing it out get uh, dry brush it out you I'm before you start dipping it into like uh, your paint cup or what are the paint that you're going to be using okay because you don't want to be contaminating with uh, paint that's that you're going to be using for like the rest of your uh, scenery and that if you're just only going to be doing that for just only one piece like what I'm doing right here this is the only thing that's going to be looking like that so uh, keep that in mind guys okay now back to this And it's pretty much kind of gotten itself out, so that's good. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry for not talking so much, guys. I'm just trying to make sure I get all this. I apologize. I mean, I know you're probably not going to be liking this video. I, I don't know. I'm not being I'm being derpy, but I want to get this out there for you guys. But I'm sorry if it fail uh, it fails. Just let me know in the comments below. All right, so now with this, I've got the right amount I want for it. I mean, it's got some black spots, but that kind of gives that shadow effect that I want. Now it's time to do the little little bumps now you can uh, you get several options you can stick with this one or switch to a smaller brush me I s usually I tend to stick with one brush with this just because that's just me I've uh, also being uh, 
for people who are have not done this before, I'd switch to a uh, different brush. If you're experienced enough to do this, I mean, it's not really hard, but it's just that way you don't goof up. Me, I've been doing this, I've been dry brushing enough to know the differences, so. And plus, also, I don't have a small brush. <laughs> so, it don't, it's, with this, when it comes to, uh, dry brushing, like, small, focus, come on, baby. When it comes to dry brushing in, uh, stuff, like, uh, these little pebbles, it don't take that many strokes, like, uh, and I'm sorry if I get out of focus. See? There's that. And and then the others. Oh, that one. Oh, I won't get that one again. So, it don't really take that much, but uh, again... Saving yourself, I mean, if you haven't done this yet, uh, before, I'd suggest going to a smaller brush. Like, again, like I said before, I, I've been doing this for a, a, long, a long time and that. I know when I'm, I kind of developed my own little technique with uh, using bigger brushes. I've actually used a brush that's, uh, I can't find it right now. Or wait, yeah, I did. I've used a brush this sized. For doing stuff like this, uh, uh, doing small stuff like that, and even a little bit smaller, but uh, it's not really hard. But if you're not really, ex if you're not really used to doing something like that, I suggest use uh, using a smaller brush. But if you think you are, go for it. But just, I'm just putting that out there, guys. Okay, I gotta add a little, a little bit more. So, with, I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I know I am. I enjoy doing this for you guys. It's so awesome. But, oh, hold on. There we go. I mean, it's been real fun to do I enjoy uh, especially especially since while well, I enjoy dry brushing I, I I love it and I mean it's pretty pretty it's a pretty interesting form of painting I mean it's hmm that'll work I mean it's it's different, but not, I, I don't know how to say. Hmm. I mean, it's, oh Lord. It, I, I'm at a loss of words for it though, guys. But, uh, enough with the random weird talking now back to this uh, back to uh, the a little bit more with the tutorial th thing uh, now we're gonna be using sandstone for the skulls to kinda give them that dirty bleach bone kinda look a little bit now uh... Oop, no! I'm about to drop my paint that would not have been good Okay, again, with like doing small stuff like this, you want to switch brushes, but again, I'm stressing it out, guys, just, I'm sorry if I am, it's just, I'm um, trying to let you guys know. There's, 
that one. But it's uh but back with uh with dry brushing and that I, I prefer it when it comes to this, like especially like stuff like this. I mean it looks really nice. What do you guys think? I mean that looks absolutely gorgeous. Now with this. There's only one skull. But I mean it's pretty awesome doing this. It takes a little bit more time, guys, but, I mean, you can pull it off. I mean, I know with a lot of people, I know with a lot of people, it's like, why would I want to take that much time in doing something that, uh, I could do with, uh, wet, uh, with wet blend or even, if you got it, airbrush. Well, I mean, airbrushing, I mean, it's cool, but you'd have to tape off all the different areas. That takes a lot of time. And with this, all you, all you just got to do is just freaking just dry brush. I mean, just powder it down to the amount I want, and boom. Just start dry brushing it on, dry brushing it on. Boom, you're done. But, uh, and that's really awesome. Now, ooh. I'm having those uh, focus. Now we're gonna go over the trim in this with Citadel Lair Eric Armor Gold or Eric, whatever it is. <laughs> Sorry guys, I am really bad with names. Now we're gonna be using a detail brush for this. And we're just going to apply it ever so carefully. Sorry if it's out of focus, guys. I can, my camera does not want to focus lately. But, I've got, uh, now, this is what I like how it's starting to come out. I mean, it looks really good. I mean, I just thought of this now. I could dry, probably dry brush a little bit, like the gold, in this part here, but I'm not going to because I've got no, I just I've got another effect I could do. Now, you could have dry brush I could have just dry brushed this entire detail thing, but I didn't want to just at the sake of uh, getting the shield painted gold I didn't want to do that so I just went that route and uh, I mean it's pretty much done I all I just gotta do now is just only paint the skull gold right there now there is a I want to get the skull done, and then we're gonna let we're gonna set this aside, and then we're gonna bring this one back in because I want to add in uh, some mud on top of the stones. I want to kind of weather them down a little bit. Okay, Ooh, not the brush. Go and now. Just do this. Okay. And again, I apologize for being really derpy, guys. It's, um, just kind of scatterbrained right now. I don't know why. <laughs> that and also I'm flabbergasted for words. Which, again, I don't know why. 
but I apologize, but I hope the quality of the video is good and you like how it looks. And there you go. That looks done, but I want to do a little bit more with this. Now we're going to go back to this. Let me first clean off my brush. And one second. There we go. Alright, sorry about that guys. I had to just do one little quick thing. Alright, now we're going to go back over with toffee, brown. And what we're going to do is we're just, we're just going to probably highlight some areas with on this rock. Oh my goodness, you do not want to focus, focus. We're just going to highlight some areas on this, okay? Just to kind of give it that look like it's got mud and that on it. Sorry guys. <laughs> now what I'm gonna be doing here is I just want to kind of like like I said I want to just make it more kind of muddy because I mean with this if it, I mean I know it's dried but when it was wet I mean sometimes if there was somebody like running across this or even standing on this it would look mudded now, we're just gonna not do a lot of it but we're just gonna add some in here. Now when it dries it's actually going to look really kind of dark-ish. Okay. There. There. And there. I, I kind of want to more stick with uh, trying to keep this up here. Kind of the standard uh, bloody stone kind of colored. Okay. Because it looks kind of more like it's stained blood but it's been kind of withered away by like the elements but it's still there and I like that okay now let's test now let's check and see but pretty much sorry guys pretty much this is done I'm not gonna ooh actually uh, Yeah, I'm done. I'm not going to add any more because it's still got that brown look down here at the sides. So, we're good. Good. Yep. And it's dry. Yay! Now I can start painting it. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be using toffee to kind of give that shield kind of the kind of muddied look. That muddy effect. And here we go. Just to kind of give it that look like it's starting to get washed down or been in the muds for yeah not mo yeah mostly washed down sorry guys I don't know what the hell I was thinking with that but it's pretty much that we I kind of wanted to make it look like that gold is kind of faded so there you have it I mean I'm sorry for the bad commentary throughout some points with that talking but I was trying to focus on this as always for you, I mean, it's for you guys, so, yeah. Now, now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, we're just going to go back over one more time just to be able to see the product, okay? Oh, and also, it just reminded me, uh, when it comes to dry brushing, always, I mean, you want to make sure that you have uh, a base coat down. I personally recommend black. 
especially i mean it it makes it more it pop more it kind of makes it more look real i mean don't this look like real rock i know i always say it guys but i'm i'm just trying to stress it out i mean the amount of you can go as light as you want to darky as you want okay when it comes with us to make it it's how much you want to it to look real so there you go I mean it's pretty good pretty rad I'm happy with it are you happy with it let me know because I hope you guys enjoyed it and comment like and sub it's a bad space with here peace